Okay, students. Now, there's seven steps for solving an equation. And one of your tasks is to be detailed. Like, why do I do each step? You know, it's, it's one thing to tell me that I know how to solve an equation. It's another thing to tell me, why do I do every little thing that I do? I mean, everything has a reason. And the funny thing is, when you're kids, like, you always ask, why? Why do I have to do this? Uh, clean your room. Why? Throw out the trash. Why? Do your homework. Why? Well, you should be asking why for this as well. And there's a good reason for everything. So let's get into why we do the things that we do. So I'll write an equation. I won't, I won't make a terribly difficult equation. I'll just write 2x equals 4. You know, nothing, nothing difficult here. Oops, let's get that written correctly. OK. Now, there's seven steps to this, right? And the first step would be to split. Now, why do I split? Well, the reason that I split is because I need a variable side and I also need an answer side. Spelt that correctly in S W E R. Now, here's the thing when you have a variable side, you have an answer side. I mean, when I'm trying to identify the variable, I'm saying that x equals 6, or x equals 9, or x equals negative 13. So when I'm trying to so every so on one side of the equal sign, I'll always have my variable. On the other side of my equal sign, I'm always going to have a number. And that's really like my answer. So it gives me two sides to work with. And it also gives me a way to describe what I'm doing. So the second step of this process is arrow. Now, an arrow, well, you know, arrow is not really mathematical. I mean, got to be honest with you here. But what it does do is it kind of holds x in place for me. Too many times I'll have kids that do something like this. Like, like um, this happened a lot earlier in my teaching career where they won't, they won't place x anywhere. And see, the thing is, they just go, okay. Now, they just write 0 equals 4. You know, how did that happen? Well, what happened was because they didn't look up. They didn't really look at anything on this first line. All they did was look at the second line. So they looked at the second line, they saw a blank space, and they didn't bother to look up. Then they saw negative 4, they go, oh, positive 4 minus 4 is 0. Then they look across, they see another negative 4, they look up, they see 8, oh, 8 minus 4 is 4. They didn't bother to look if there's a blank space. So just by giving everything a proper space gives us the ability to look up. So, all right, got slightly off topic on that, but. So when I have an arrow, an arrow is just to mark the variable. And the reason why is for place value. Now, your third step. Your third step would be t for opposites. Now, what does an opposite do? Well, Opposites, and keep in mind, kids, the word opposite and the word reciprocal is really the same word. So what do opposites do? Opposites cancel. Now, put a little exclamation point there. You know, the, so the whole purpose of this is 
I want to get rid of this two altogether. I mean, you can't just erase it. I actually used to have students in the past that just erase the two. Like, oh, it's gone. Like, no, you can't do that. But what you could do is you can put an opposite there, and when you combine the two, they'll cancel each other out. Okay, your fourth step. Now, your fourth step is balance. Now, and a lot of you know the phrase, hey, whatever you do to one side, do to the other. But why? Now, let's actually play this out. I'll go back to the equation. Instead of writing an algebra equation, I'll write a number sentence like 2 plus 4 equals 6. This is going slightly off topic here. Now, what if I just did something to one side? Like I just subtracted 4 on one side. And I didn't subtract 4 on the other side. Well, you know, what would I have? Well, I'd be wind up with 2 on the left side, and I wind up with 6 on the right side. I mean, the first line makes sense. 2 plus 4 equals 6. If I use opposites to cancel, but I don't balance this out on, my, on the answer side, if you notice, they're not equal anymore. Well, what if I balance? What if I did balance? What if I did, what, whatever I did to the left side, like I subtracted 4, I did to the right side? So six minus six minus four is two. See, now the equation is back. Now the variable side and the answer side are equal again. So as long as I repeat my actions on both sides of the equation, the equation will still stay equal. And that's kind of, that's an important idea that people don't necessarily understand. Well, why am I, why, why whatever I do to one side, I do to the other? So that the equation stays equal. All right, so we got, we got steps one, two, three, and four down. So we go to step five. And, you know, on the list I gave you, I said copy first, but we'll go to cancel. And why, why, why am I canceling? Well, because, you know, it goes back to step three. You know, you set up opposites and they cancel, so you're going to cancel the opposites. You know, I want to remove that number from the equation. Remove number from the equation. So what would that look like? Well, pretty much all I just do is just cross it out, just draw a line through it, and that's over. Okay, so step number six is to copy. You know, and, I, and you know, the whole idea of copying is I, you know, let's, it goes back to step number two. It goes back to the arrow. You know, I'm marking the variable for like for the reasons of place value. <coughs> so if I'm marking things for a place value, well, then I'm really copying. I, I want to place x in. I'm skipping x from line one. I'm skipping line two, and I'm placing it in line three. So when I'm copying. I'm going to place x on a new line. We're not doing anything to x, but sometimes I just need to remind myself that I'm placing x on a new line. You know, this is line 1, this is line 2. You don't see x on line 2 anywhere. It skips a line. And then step number 7 would be to just calculate. And when you calculate, well, you're calculating the constants on the answer side. And you're balancing your answer out. So when you calculate, you're balancing 
those opposites that you used before. So I'll just write balancing the the opposites. You know, there's a price to pay when you cancel something. You know, just like anything in life. If you cancel something, there, there's got to be repercussions somewhere else. So these are the seven reasons why we solve an equation step by step. And I hope this 